popular form of transport here in Argentina is by bus and they have truly invested in their bus system and there's so many companies from which you can travel with and this is one of them which we're off to San Ignacio and then it goes to Posadas. Um, but now it's quite extraordinary, you can see these seats are the pure luxury. You don't even get these sorts of things on our planes. And then it also, if you look up here, they've got the radio and video. So we've got the TV screen. So hopefully we'll be able to get some light entertainment whilst we're making our five hour journey to San Ignacio and Posadas. Jesuit missionary ruins were next. Hopped on a coach, five hours, dropped at the side of a bare motorway. Where were we? The bus station seemed abandoned, except for a few Argentine ladies babysitting travellers' bags, who were also visiting. On walking the red dirt track to the village under unforgiving sunshine bearing an unbelievable heat, we sought refuge at the first restaurant, also to restore our stomachs. The empty 1970s restaurant was painted pink, and the fridge in the corner running from a generator flicked on and off. A 60-something-year-old man enthusiastically greeted us. We chose a table near the entrance for a swift exit should someone appear with a blood-stained apron and meat cleaver. The table was draped in cloth that had seen better days, and cutlery that had more mouths wrapped around them than a rent boy's appendage. The fading pink wall was decorated by sun-bleached framed photographs. The waiter old man then explained it was his restaurant and the photos were of a European North American expedition he took 30 years ago. Historical landmarks and familiar famous faces. How the hell? This was his life story and we were his captivated audience. He presented their speciality, five flavours of gnocchi. Personally, it was bland and oily but I couldn't disappoint the old geezer now. We took our leave back to the dirt track for a five minute walk to the ruins. The Jesuit missionary ruins certainly give you an idea of what life was like for indigenous people just a couple of hundred years ago. A tour by a local guide will give you further insight and certainly worth having. ...of the, uh, the Jesuit culture. But the warning is, they were old people when they had, for example, 30 years old. Yeah. Okay? Oh. Yeah, because they worked every day and all day down the sun. All right? So, uh, the body is uh, very, very fast. Okay? So, um, uh, 30, 35 years, they were old people. So, if you're um, young. And the people, they married very, very young. When they had, for example, 13 and 14 years old, they took a marriage. Hmm? 1632, near of the uh, Javiberi River or, or stream. Hmm? And in 1696, this area, what uh, today is hammock? Yeah, no bed. All right. But um, they made the, the wall on stone, but the roof on wood. This is one of three of the Jesuit missionary ruins that are in this local area. For 30 Argentine dollars, you can see all three, and I definitely tried to get to see two. This will only fill approximately two hours of your time, so do make sure that you've got plans to get a bus back, whether it's to Positas or onto Resistencia. Find out where we went next. <laughs> 